Peace, what's good y'all? It's your brother God Science up in here, up in here with a new quick freaky video. Oh, shout out to everybody out there that's been watching the video, subscribing. Really appreciate y'all, no doubt. Wanted to make a quick video. You know, um, recently we had the Hurricane Harvey that, you know, did a lot of damage in Houston and those people out there in Texas, my heart goes out to them. I'm in Florida and we see Hurricane Irma coming through. We don't know if it's gonna come. But I was sitting back yesterday. I try not to watch the fucking news unless it's something like, you know, a hurricane and shit like that, so you can know, you know, to prepare. And I started thinking, and I just saw a deeper meaning with these hurricanes. You know, since Donald Trump has got into office, well, I'm not even going to blame it on Donald Trump. It always been there. But I think he just, you know, all the closet racists, the ones that were in the closet, felt comfortable to come out because, hey, the commander in chief is just like us. Right? Now, I was one of those persons that got, you know, hated on because I said, when Donald Trump got in, I was like, well, you know, we got to give him a chance. Let's hope he do good because he's the president of the United States. You're like, what? What the fuck are you talking about? This? And I was like, yeah, you know, I just try not to call people racist, you know, I, before I have the proof. But now, as we see his actions, yeah, he can say that shit all day. He's not this. He's not that. But your actions show different, bro. Now, of course... We've seen the shit that's been going on in the in the this this country of the divide, but I noticed with the hurricane, when the hurricane came and did all this disaster in Texas, did the hurricane give a fuck about who was black, who was white? Um, I start seeing people helping each other, not giving a shit who was black and who was white, and I just sat down and said, oh, okay. We want to fight each other and do all this stupid shit. But when a tragedy happens, when the human family is, you know, threatened, then we could get together. Then we could help each other out. It doesn't matter who's black, who's brown, who's fucking Chinese, who's Mexican. We're fucking human beings. So you see human beings helping human beings. But it takes a tragedy for that. It takes a tragedy for people to see that that is just not even one percent of what a human being is that's what it takes a fucking tragedy but rest assured as soon as these hurricanes leave and everybody gets you know their house repaired and they get their things and everything back we will be right back to where we are fighting because somebody's black and somebody's white or somebody's mexican or somebody's chinese and I don't like this person because of this. And I think I'm better because I'm this. We will be right back there. Because one thing I see about human beings, a lot of us don't learn lessons, man. So we repeat the shit over and over and over and over. You know, like they say, if you don't learn your lesson, you're going to be back here when you die over and over and over again. So... It's just a video to say it's a deeper I see a deeper meaning with these you know it shows us that <laughs> when these things come man this black and all this race fucking it's just so stupid and people see know it is stupid but when they get all comfortable and shit they keep doing the same shit anyway thank you guys for watching it's just my little message for the day Hope y'all safe out there. Um, if y'all in Florida like me, just keep an eye on that motherfucker. Hope that shit turns. But, you know, it is what it is. We'll be protected. Peace.